Today, November 30th, is the Feast of St. Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter. We know from John's Gospel that Andrew was a disciple of John the Baptist. It's John the Baptist who directs Andrew to Jesus. And after spending an afternoon with Jesus, it's Andrew who goes to his brother Simon and says, We have found the Messiah. So it's Andrew who brings his brother Simon to the Lord and introduces them. And we know certainly that Simon Peter takes on a much more prominent role in leadership and the church than Andrew did. So we have to wonder, you know, did Andrew feel any pangs of jealousy? You know, it's like he's the one that introduced his brother to the Lord and his brother becomes seemingly the more important person. Uh, the beauty of the lesson implicit in that story is that no one is more important than anyone else. That we're all equally loved by God. That God gives us different roles within the mystical body of the church. But if a role is more prominent, if there's a position of leadership that's more visible, it doesn't mean that those who are hidden or quietly doing the work of the Lord are somehow less important or matter less. All of us belong to the mystical body of Christ. All of us have different roles to play. Tradition says that Andrew was crucified on an X-shaped cross for his proclamation of the gospel. And it reminds us that all of those apostles really died um, because of the lack of religious freedom. That those who would not worship the emperor, who would not conform themselves to the state religion, were killed for their Christian faith. So we live in a country that constitutionally protects religious freedom, and, and we pray that that uh, protection continue because it, it is not a gift from the government. It comes from God himself. And so the martyrs point us to the beautiful truth that Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Messiah. Jesus is the King. And if he is as he is, it means that all other human power is relativized and is less important. And all authentic power flows from God himself. And so we pray for the grace to continue to live our faith joyously, courageously, lovingly in the public square, exercising our right to religious freedom. And to be a witness as such, a witness that introduces other people to Jesus as Andrew did so long ago with his brother Simon.